What is up guys? Today's video, a little bit different. The reality is Lou is two hours away from us. Jesse's three hours away from us. So some of these build videos you're gonna see that Lou's doing, uh, it's gonna be him kinda driving the ship, you know, taking all the uh, video, and then he sends me the files, and then I can edit them and get them out to you guys. I wish we could be there every weekend. It just, it's just too far. Uh, to make that work but doing it this way will really help us be able to make a video for you guys every week and uh, that's what's important to me I, I want to be consistent with the content you know so I'll shut up for now uh, take it away Lou what's going on far off road got the Ginger wonder Jesse yeah Ginger Jesse you Ginger know. Jesse uh, another build video coming to you guys I posted pictures of this up a while ago but things happen here and there uh, rides came up flip overs happen broken collarbones happen you know not that any of us know anything about that but oh. finally it's here gonna be working on the uh, 22 pro r gonna pull some measurements pull the stock cage off uh come up with some ideas get that going and hopefully try to knock out the a and b pillar today we'll see how far we get kind of getting a little bit of late start due to the rain but we'll get it going but luckily mr jesse over here decided to help me out by Going out again. We got donuts. some, uh, yeah, we got some 27 inch stickies on here. All right, these are Slate Rock approved. Um, so there will be some probably future videos of this machine on these actually doing off roading because uh, why not? You know, that's kind of the motto. Um, and then, you know, we'll see what it does. Maybe do some uh, some nasty uh, burnouts. Yeah, smoke show it up. <laughs> so we're gonna get things situated and uh, we'll check back in once we're ready to start going. A little longer than a few minutes later. So we pulled some measurements just to see how bad the wreck was and uh, come to find out that there is some off measurements that are, have to be remedied. Pretty much from, we're pretty confident, it's from the A pillar to about right here. We're pretty sure that that's pushed in this way. And we're gonna hope that once we remove the cage that it just kind of springs back naturally. We'll re-pull measurements to see how it's looking. But instead of completely unbolting this thing, we're gonna do it a uh, Ginger Jesse style, I guess we could call it, and we're hacking it off. And also, if you guys are new, um, I don't know when this video is gonna come out. This thing was in a little rollover accident with me. I rolled it over, broke a collarbone. Oh my oh, god! Oh man! I hope they have seat belts on. <laughs> um, so that's what he's talking about by the accident. So we did tweak the cage a little bit. You can see. And it wasn't that bad of a rollover in this stock cage. It it bent pretty easy. So, like I say, I always go with a built cage, custom cage. So, safety first. We'll get to cutting. So we did the B pillar, the halo hoop, whatever you want to call it. And actually, I guess it'd be C pillar on this one. And uh, I'll let Jesse tell you how much we took out of it. Well, we took 11 inches. It's 11 inch drop. So I, I'm more normal size. If you see me next to Lou, I'm not, I'm not a grizzly bear. I'm not a giant. So for me, I'm like 5'10". And the biggest thing will fit my kids back here, but this is gonna be. Yeah, 11 yeah. inch drop, it's gonna be low. You know, that's one thing with the Pro R is so damn big. Yeah, you definitely could fit in it without a helmet, but helmet, yeah. it'll be awfully tight. I but... like to wear helmets. Oh yeah, we're, we're nothing but safe yeah. riders here. Definitely. Always safe. Safety is sexy. Uh. Safety first, teamwork next. Yeah. So, well, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna jump on a 
we'll pull some measurements to actually get the A pillars. We're gonna go from A to C on this build instead of going all the way back to D. Uh, we feel this will just be stronger. Uh, you guys already know how Jesse likes to ride, so let's keep him and his family safe. <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna pull some measurements, break out the old tube roller back there. Let that's Jesse. Why I'm here. I think that's the only reason I showed up. Um, is he wanted an automatic tube roller and. Yeah, and now his collarbone's healed up, so let the young guy crank <laughs> on that thing for a while. So we'll pick back up there. A little longer than a few minutes later. All right, after some uh, measurements and tweaking of this, and you know what, let's just show you. Come with us on the YouTube trip. What a journey. Yeah. So as discussed, rolled, tweaked a few things, and well, here's what we had to do. Had to pull some things around to make everything match where it's gonna be. Uh, I'd say we got it fairly close. We'll have to do a little bit more tweaking to get everything squared back up. But needless to say, part of it was an inch completely out of whack. So we pulled that back into place to where we could pull better measurements. Now we're gonna roll some tube. Well, Jesse's gonna roll some tube. We'll throw a bend in it, get it up in place. And that's why I'm here. Yep. All right, put your time lapse, get it done. Well, we got this one bent up. We're liking the ride height. Video may not do it too well, but uh, it's about 10 or 11 inches completely out of total height. We're gonna get some things marked up here to get this notch in place to where we could at least see fully where it's gonna be. Then we'll get the other one bent up and that'll probably be it for today's work. But we got a good amount done. Well, we're calling it a day on this. Uh, put in a hard day's worth of work. Now it's time to go drink some beer, but we got a lot done. Jesse's pretty happy with it. A to C pillar done. We'll get it all tacked up tomorrow or something. We're just tired, ready to call it a day. Anything to add? No, just a good first days of work, you know. Looking forward to seeing it all come together now. We'll figure out the B pillars, how we wanna probably do something where up, angles this way and angles back that way as well, just for the strength. Uh, Jesse's talking, he wants to go with a three piece roof which will be pretty cool. Do a little sunroof in the middle, do like Lexan in the middle, metal sheets in the side, something different. To catch the rays on your ginger beard? Yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> it's mostly to look at so I can see when I'm flipping, you know? There you go, see where you're gonna land. <laughs> see where I'm gonna land. There you go. But yeah, so that's that. We'll pick it back up probably in a couple days and keep it going. One pair of pants later. Not gonna get a whole lot done today. It is lazy Sunday and just gonna spend some time inside, but I wanna come out here and at least button up a few things from what we did yesterday, cause we didn't tack anything in place. We pretty much just did what we did, set it in there, said, yeah, that looks good. I'll worry about it tomorrow, which is today. I did do one thing that I'll show you guys. I ended up doing the top bar, got all that tacked into place, tacked in the lower bungs, squared up the back end of it, got that all tacked into place to where once I lower it down off the jack, you know, I know it'll stay all square where I need it to be to where I can get going on uh, these B pillars here. Not really sure how I want to twist them in and make them look, but we'll get it figured out. Probably just calling it a day on this, but I at least wanted to make a quick video on what was accomplished today and we'll pick back up on the next one. Well, fucked up on the, oops, sorry, Jeremy. Didn't get the uh, B pillar footage messed up. It uh, filmed and then it cut out. Oops. So we're just gonna take you right back through it. Uh, we got good old Ginger Jesse here. New rider unlocked, got Ricky. You'll see more of him on the next video, but just to walk you through the B pillar. B pillar, we went back and connected, connected here to gusset it up more. We all know how Jesse drives, but just wanted to show that because in the other parts of the video, it got cut out, so there it is. What do you think, Jesse? I think it's looking good. I think Lou was talking about doing another joint somewhere in this way to here, kind of go sideways, you know, connect this. I think it should be strong enough. I'll test it out eventually. <laughs> He definitely will. It's probably been about a week or so since I've worked on this. A few things came up, uh, some design changes on the back end of this thing. Went back and forth on how I wanted to do it. 
went and got sick, had to take a few days off because of that, wasn't able to get out of the garage like I wanted to. New Year's just happened, today's actually New Year's Day, so we're getting caught back up on this. Uh, probably gonna end this here with a few things I'm wrapping up on it today, maybe a couple more days just because it's, this is a full build. So I'm at least two videos, maybe three this will be, but at least this one will be for the cage. And then once we do the bumpers and tie all that in, that'll be more of the videos as well. But uh, right now I'll just show you what I got knocked out because I don't remember if I filmed it or not. And then I'm working on the intrusion bars right now. So let's just show you that. So this is how I ended up doing the back, tying everything in, coming down. I overextended them, pressed the connected to the rear bumper, just leave them long until I figure out how I want to tie it in, just for overall looks and stability and strength. So I think it came out pretty good. You know, the curves of everything following in, big fan of it. Took out the tub to make sure it had enough room to get out because on uh, Mrs. D's machine, I don't know if I said it in the video or not, but I actually had to redo where they connected because I didn't leave enough clearance, but I got that in now, so we're good to move on. So now I'll take you up to the intrusion bars. So this is how we're going to do the intrusion bars. I laid it out with some string just to where I could see how I wanted it to be, marked it out where all the spacing is going to be, pulled my measurements, got it all in, put it into the progr Pentec program, and we're going to go from there. And then up top, we're going to go from this part out wide in the back for his uh, three panel roof. That'll end up looking pretty good. So anxious, anxious to get that part done. As for right now, that's what I'm working on. Also just to add, I mocked up, you know, what is going to be the intrusion bars to get my recipe all made up. Got all three of my pieces cut here. Already got them cut to length. I'm going to line, uh, mark them out for all my notches. Get on the notches, start throwing some uh, notches in them and get them mounted up. I'll throw it in time lapse. a short time lapse and then I kind of just didn't turn the camera back on because I ran into a few issues and it was just way easier for me to work through the issues than going back and forth with the camera and uh, I got it done show, show you what it looks like the problems I had was sometimes if you just don't have the measurements exactly the way you want it on the program and then you go to cut the pieces it ends up just not right especially when you're dealing with radiuses and stuff like that Maybe it's still me recovering from this cold and I just misread my numbers, misread my measurements. But either way, I had to redo one of the pieces and then I just took my time on the other ones to make sure it was perfect. Going back and forth, trying to get, line this up as straight as possible. So that's what I did. Here it is. So got that all on, got it tacked in place. I feel I got them pretty straight, you know, crossing where I want them, where they don't look silly. So. Now they're all matched up there. Next will be the roof uh, for the three-piece roof. I might try to get that done, but this might be a pause for right now. Jesse does have a few other things that he wants to get done on the machine. And like I said, we're going to take a break while, uh, before we get the bumpers done on this thing. But if I do get the roof done, I will check back in. Otherwise, it'll be all caught up on the next video. Uh, I think we ain't done yet. All right. Thought I was done. Wrapped up one more thing to finish up this video, and then the next ones will be the front and rear bumpers and the tie-ins for all that. But I got the roof knocked, the roof bars knocked out for the three-piece roof. I know I probably said that 10, 15 times, but hey, whatever. But figured I'd show that to you real quick. Got them tacked in and halfway welded up because this is on the way out to get the next one in for right now, but wanted to show you guys it. So, they start off meeting up with the uh, intrusion bars and then they go out wide in the back. So, got it done. Felt that was a better place to leave off. So, see you on the next one. I think we ain't done yet. Also, real quick, got a new flag. Oh, very nice. So, that's going to be it for uh, 
part one of Jesse's build. I know Lou touched on that, uh, but it, it's a full build, as he said. So he's getting the main cage, which you guys saw. Uh, front and rear bumpers that are tied into that cage, which you guys will see. Uh, that'll probably be a video. And then the finished product, of course. Not sure if he's painting it or powder coating it yet, uh, but he's going to have a bunch more parts to put on his machine too, and we'll bring you guys all that stuff. And that's part of the reason why it, we're doing it like this. Uh, he wants to get started on some of those other projects. So main cage is set. Still has to take it off and finish weld it, but that's it for the main cage. Next up, we'll be tying it in and uh, doing the bumpers. So I think Lou touched on this a little bit. Uh, end of summer, we were at Lou's to start this project. We pulled his old cage off. Uh, I started the video, you know, we had a couple intros and we were getting it going and then uh, we left. But uh, turns out Jesse needed his machine. So they put the stock cage back on and uh, just kind of held off on the project until later when Lou could have more time with it. So uh, after that, that's when he rolled it and uh, here we are now. So most of the footage shot that day is irrelevant now because it's the same thing, but his machine was in better condition. Uh, but I do have a little a little bit I'll show you guys now. Um, Lou had recently gotten one of those Badlands jacks from Harbor Freight, which if you're into off-roading, I'm sure you've seen it. Uh, and there's a bit of debate whether that jack will be able to lift up Jesse's machine on 37s so check out this clip it's from the end of summer uh when we attempted to do this video the first time and i'll be right back with you there's no way in this will lift it up lift both tires up oh up. no i didn't say we lift both oh, okay that don't even count my dad will do that. i'm talking about lift up both tires <laughs> i never said it would do both yes you did no i didn't <laughs> no i didn't it won't there's no way <laughs> If you put on the control arm, obviously, my jack will do that. There's no, it's like my jack will lift up both of them. I didn't say that. I did not say both of them. Otherwise, I would, I would do one at a time, but that's inconvenience. Who the f is gonna do I hope there's something under there because I ain't looking. Hey, look, it's already struggling. Oh, Three man. Three my ass. Oh, look at my jewelry. Oh, man. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ, how much traffic uh, is you have no idea, that's what I'm saying. It's, it's 29 no inches, man. What no, the? Of that jack. <laughs> no, on the fucking machines. Jesus. Oh. 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 Let, let you let it go and restart. <laughs> so the process is you get it to this point and then you put a, a block on it. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, if it was 35s, it lifted up. <laughs> well, here's the thing, he's like, look at 37s. <laughs> <laughs> well, look at it, like, that's literally, not, now you get the block, yeah, yeah. and then it'll lift it up. So that'll do it for this video. Uh, I'm not sure what the next video is going to be. Uh, we have, <laughs> we have a lot of projects started, and... You know, we're waiting for stuff like powder coating, etc., all that stuff to get done. So, you know. I don't know. And then last thing before I officially let you guys go, uh, this is the new camera. So I hope it's working good. I hope it sounds good. I hope it looks good. I know it looks like I'm in a prison cell right now. Uh, that's because they give me footage and they say edit it and then they let me out of this closet when it's done. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Uh, check out our GLife UTV affiliate link. It's going to be in all the descriptions below. You can use code Haggard5, save yourself some coin. And we'll catch you on the next one. Peace. <laughs> uh, so the new camera is a camcorder. I guess my little exit thing doesn't work because the lens is big let's try it again uh catch you on the next one peace only it's only game
Why do you have to be mad? 